As the doors opened, the first of the mourners filled into Westminster Hall to pay their respects to Elizabeth II. They had waited hours for a chance to bow or curtsy or to silently reflect. As the late monarch lies in state, her coffin guarded at every corner 24 hours a day by soldiers serving the royal household. She was a, a beautiful inspiration and such a moving energy in there. Closure, our queen is being laid to rest. She's at peace. Among those paying their respects, politicians and dignitaries, including Prime Minister Liz Truss. But most of them everyday Brits mourning their beloved queen. It was very hard to just see a coffin and not a queen, not our queen. Seeing her like that was, was, was hard. We each of us had the time to stand in front of the coffin on our own, not with crowds thick behind us, just on our own for a moment of thought. It was very moving. Outside, the line stretches beyond sight along the Thames for several kilometers as people spend hours and hours waiting to enter the hall. At least a thousand volunteers have been enlisted to help manage the crowds, which are expected to number in the hundreds of thousands in the coming days. The late monarch will lie in state until her funeral on Monday at nearby Westminster Abbey. Until then, the doors of the hall will remain open 24 hours a day.